Hi, Madeline here from Sonic Bloom. This time I want to show you four options how you can add text notes to any Ableton Live set. And let's start with the first one. And this is the info text. So we can do a right click here on the title of the track and then click edit info text. And then I could say too muddy needs more reverb or whatever else you've got. And then I can just click anywhere. And then you see if I hover over this, you can see the notes that I've taken. Of course, there's only limited space, but this one might actually be enough. And this works for all tracks. So also, for example, here, if I go on the group track, also for the return tracks and the master, as it was called before, now main. So I can click on this as well. If you have non-specific things, I would probably add it to the main. Otherwise, if it's specific to a track, I would add that on the track. You can also add it on live devices. So for example, if I click on here on the title again, then you have the added info text option there as well. I would not recommend using that too much because you might not be able to find where you've added anything. Things can get confusing quite quickly. I would rather use the option for the track instead, unless you run out of space there and you make a quick note that you've added more in other devices on the track. So this is option number one. Number two is using locators. So I can just do a right click here at locator and then I can add anything at riser, for example, right? I find this most useful to kind of just add little notes to say what I want to add in a particular section that goes for like the whole track. So all the individual tracks together. I could so for example, say like here, add a locator and say insert extra part say in A minor, and that would be added as well. You can move them as well. And of course, you can also delete them again once you're done with everything, which is what I would also recommend. Don't leave the notes in there if you've already crossed them off your to-do list. Now, both options that I've shown you so far are quite limited in space. So the third option actually hacks the lessons feature in Ableton Live. So the lessons that you have included in all the self-installing life packs, and it's not difficult to set up, especially if you use the template that I'm going to be making available for free. I'll link that in the description below and also up top. And so as you can see, you can include even images. You can have bolded or italic text you know, at any text that you like, and you can even have different pages that you can set up and even a link. And the way I've set up the lesson is already expla explaining how it works, but let's just quickly go through that, how everything needs to be set up. And so the first thing is you're going to have to go into your Ableton Live project folder for the live set that you want to add these notes to. And then you're going to create a folder called exactly the same as the live set plus lessons with a capital L. So in my case, the live set I want to add something to is text notes. Here I've added some extra live sets to see if it works, if it has anything added to it. And that's not the case. So if you want to make different versions and still have the lesson, you're going to have to either add like duplicate the lesson and then correct the name to what the latest live set that you're working on is named, or you're going to have just rename the existing one, depending on if you want this in all the live sets or just the one that you're really working on at the moment. So let's go into this folder now. And so what you can see, I've had added an image that's a PNG image, and I've got a lessons text in English. If you're using a different language set in Ableton Live, you're going to have to set it to the international abbreviation added right after lessons in capital letters as well. And it has to be a text file, but you can just simply use the text file that I'm giving you. And if you use a different language, just rename that. So what do we need in there? So we need a dollar sign page to indicate that's a new page. And then we have to give that page a name. 
If you want to add an image, you can simply add the name of the image. It has to be a PNG file and it has to be 260 pixels wide. The height doesn't matter. It can be as high if you, as you want. Of course, the higher it is, the less space you have for text. So if you want to have bold text, you take the star symbol and italic text with a slash. And if we go back into Ableton Live, you can see if I have a, an empty line in between that is reflected from the text file. And then if you want to start a new page, simply have the dollar sign plus page. It has to be with an uppercase P. And then if you want to add a link, you have dollar sign with link then what the link is supposed to be shown as like the text and then the link right afterwards as formatted here. Very important, even if the website that you want to link to uses HTTPS, it has to be set to HTTP because otherwise the link won't work. So this is still an old standard and this is why this is the case. And last but not least, we've got option number four, which is Max for Life devices. And here on Max for Life, if you add Notepad in as a search term, you get a long list of different ones. Simple ones where you simply have like a task to do list that you can even check off or, you know, differently formatted ones, some that look really nice, some not as much. There are loads and loads of options for anyone. So I'm going to pop that link into the description below as well. That's it. All the four options, how you can add text notes to an Ableton Live set. I hope you found this useful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Until then, bye.